DTL, of course, was the original home international discipline. So before all the others became home international, that we only had the DTL teams. So do you think DTL's declined since those days? Overall, the sport's expanded. DTL over the last few years has come down a little bit. Um, Skeet did the same 12 years but ago, but Skeet is on the up again. This year particularly, we've had to add extra days to our major sporting competitions. They're becoming almost week-long events. Um, and the number of new people coming into shooting, the grounds are reporting that it's on a record high of people coming in and taking the sport up. Yeah, well that's good isn't it? Yeah. Why do you reckon that is? Uh, we really don't know. Possibly something to do with a let's get out there and get involved after two years of being restricted. I think so. In common with um, golf and outdoor gyms and things like that, we were or we got ourselves included on the lists that could open the soonest. Look for yourself, Alex. You can see how many people are here and look at the weather. And do you know what? It's by well. They all know the weather's going to be like this and they still come. Yeah, it's different here. <laughs> Well, don't ask the shooters about the scenery because they haven't seen anything beyond the range of those targets. Do you think one of the reasons people like it here is because there isn't a bank? Yes. Yes, it's got a uh, completely clear background, unlike some grounds. There are some layouts which some shooters prefer against others. Because if you've got no background, you can start to get picky about little bit of things in the environment that's going to irritate you, and then you prefer to go one layout to another. And if you look at the winds and the way the targets are moving, but everybody comes because it's, it's part of the tradition, it's part of the circuit, and it's all about being a trap shooter. Do you think, though, that trap shooting ends up being a muscle memory situation rather than actually uh, reacting to the targets? It, 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 there's it, a lot of predictability. I would say DTL is really to do with concentration. It's a very, very intensively mind-searching discipline. If you let your concentration float for the split second, this is all about... It's, it's, it's almost the meditation of um, shotgun shooting. Yeah. It's a completely different mindset. I mean, most people taking part aren't expecting to win any of the trophies. They're here because it's a tradition. It's been going for well over 100 years. Most people are not coming for a trophy. They're coming for one of these little pin badges. Because... Well, can I say, it's certainly worth the journey. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely worth coming for that. Thank you. It's going to last a lifetime, unlike the trophy which you have to hand back after a year, I'm assuming. To win the Dougal Memorial, you, we have a replica that you can take away because the Dougal, the original Dougal Cup is absolutely enormous. Yeah. Uh, and we simply can't afford, or most people can't afford the insurance to actually take it home and put it on the mantelpiece. Not that most people have got a mantelpiece that's big enough to put it on. What is the level you've got to be at for the England team? So at what point would you say to somebody it's worth progressing? It's really hard to say because it, it, it's, um, it's a level playing field each year. If you do well at your local club, and I mean, you literally shoot frequently and you're doing very well at your club. The first time you go to another club, you will go, what the hell's going on? Because the background's changed. Um, your orientation has changed, the colour of the clays may have changed. You've got to go on the circuit. You've got to, you've got to learn your trade. You've got to go to these big shoots and feel the pressure of standing there with all these people, knowing that you've got a crowd behind you, which isn't the same as your local CPSA registered. You've got to, you've got to work your way up through the levels. You've got to go out there and shoot shoot-offs to win just a class prize before you're ready to go on and, and, and shoot for a major prize. And all those different levels take you to a different level of confidence, um, 
uh, get you into the skill set, get you into the zone, if you like to use a buzzword. Mm -hmm. And you can't just do it overnight. A few people do. They'll come in and they'll do quite well. Uh, and then generally you won't see them again. The, the ones that are here time and time again, they've learned their trade, they've worked their way up. And, and they're comfortable doing it. And you've got to be comfortable. If we go back to what I said earlier about it's, it's a mindset, it's almost a meditation. You've got to be comfortable being out there. Distractions like the wind changing from one direction to another, the rain suddenly coming, a cloud changing the the light that's making the colour of the clay look different. You've got to be able to have worked through all those by actually coming and learning the job.